Welcome to Insurrection Field in Green Washington, BS, home of the Cadavers. Cadavers? That name sucks. I prefer it when they were called the Deadskins. Why didn't they just rename the team the Brain Washington Fitted Lake Challenge Skins or the Embalmed with All Natural Ingredient Skins? Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The New York Threats Battle. The Brain Washington Cadavers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cat litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Spent all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish! I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. Caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And it's first and ten. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb. If he dropped one again, you know, good communication is important. First and four. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a crazy turkey. That's like it does have some turkey skin wrapped on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. What is this, Andy's wrestling? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And that'll be second and eight to go. First and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. for 10 yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Hmm. I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned Second down and ten. And the offense.
defense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down in a mile. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That is still edible, though. Just got to scrape off the charred parts. This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. Well, wow, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and seven. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. They're telling me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. First down and seven. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because that was a sonic blast dirty trick. Man, what a hit that was.
Quarter one comes to an end. If they don't get it together, this game is going to turn into a rout. And it's first and ten. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it's why he's on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Third down and five. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he went off to the races. They're going for two. That's a beautiful pass for the conversion. Wow, two years ago, this guy was a very rotting corpse at the edge of the galaxy. And today, look at him. He's a dancing scoring machine. What a story. What a wonderful story. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserker drugs. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. harder than that and that is unfortunate oh the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick that'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently you snooze you lose unless you're in a sleeping contest and it's first and ten That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay! And it's first and ten. Can I remind you that painting of dead, carving the turkey, grandma, the whole family. <laughs> Looks like someone uploaded some new dance moves. point attempt the kick is good and as expected those are pretty much just guineas they need a good return here to set up the offense he sets up for the return let's see if he can break one wide open First and ten.
Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. They've used a strawberry field's dirty trick. <laughs> Those guys don't know which way forward. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's gonna have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. Third down and forever. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Full man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. They've called a zap attack. The ball carrier better move. Devastating hit knocks the ball loose. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 10. Touchdown! Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. You know, Bricks, we might be seeing the birth of a new dance craze. This guy may not be programmed to feel love or pain, but man, he is programmed to get down and get funky. crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Graham, will you tell the interns to get us some franken dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Uh, wish they could pee for me, too. your first hit the lack of blood everyone having all their limbs hey you're an idiot second down and ten oh great tackle when his brain is unscrambled he'll be thinking about that hit yeah, first time out under two minutes the chess game has begun it's like chess only you can kill people and it's first and ten for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. And that'll be second down and four. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant relentless advance? If only it was this... And like a monkey trying to... Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, Grim! You mean aside from private the ref, you kill the quarterback for actually playing some D? Either way, they're going for two.
comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. And that is called for a first down. First and eight. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. Thank you that mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! Another bullshit penalty. How long are these guys going to take this? says it's time to put the ref out of his misery.
First down and forever. Oh, great pass on that play. They call the defense napping. Second down and seven. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and score. Nicely done. Pussy's bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Glenn. Yeah, bigger than yours. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Away from and the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. A lot of guys talk about stepping up. Oh, <laughs> he did not see that coming, partner. Yeah, no. First and ten. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because if he gets hit, he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. He picks up ten yards on that play. Second down in inches. First and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First down and three. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. I never looked that good dancing, and I have skin. for one when you could go for two. It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh. And he plows forward for the two-point conversion. Sooner than boot and I'm ready for war. Put the battle to the floor. Heavy metal in the background. You should know I'll back down. When it's 
Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very long. Ouch! What is this? Annie's wrestling? That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. And it's first and ten. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Second down and two. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. And my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. First and two. <laughs> Second down and seven. The runner pulls out a chainsaw. <laughs> Second down and more. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Hot two. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> Third down, and hot. the punter is warming up. One, hot two, hot, hot, hot. If you don't hear it coming, it's a oh, great catch, and that's a touchdown. Touchdown. And they line up for the extra point. It's good.
When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. He is rolling thunder and pouring. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear you're drunk. I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drugs. He's gone. Don't do They run it for a yard. and four. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Second down and ten. Shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. And it's first and ten. shoe size because he just walked all over him second and three and that's a first down looks like they're just gonna pound it up the middle all night bricks i call that the honeymoon offense no, i'm not gonna touch it and the two minute warning sounds they'll have to regroup during this timeout And it's first and ten. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. 
The defense is leaving the team with just one timeout, so they better bring the ball back gift wrapped. Is it time for a ribbon or a ball grin? Maybe if they use their last timeout. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good! They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. was an all-pro NFL hit. The offense has an uphill battle, and it all starts with making this first down. Uh, you have to admire that fighting spirit. It's stupid, but... And that is one big first down. The QB needs to stop kissing his linemen and get back to the line of scrimmage. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He killed me in my fantasy game last week. I wanted a murder on myself. <laughs> and it's first and ten. That's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim. No failed insurrection today. The cadavers are overthrown on their home turf and go out defeated. Hey, look, there's that QAnon Shaman guy taking a crap on the field. <laughs> they battled hard but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any orc butts involved. I kind of like orc butts, especially with some Deshaun mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Now that's living. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...